Hi dear children, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to continue exercise 8.2, fourth question. Using integration, find the area of the region bounded by the triangle whose vertices are minus 1 comma 0, minus 1 comma 0, 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 2. First we need to draw the figure corresponding to that. That means we need to draw x axis and y axis and just plot these three points on that and join it and then you will get one triangle. That triangle is our shaded portion and we need to find out the area of this by using integration. We need to find out the area of triangle ABC by using integration. For that what we want to do is first we need to find out the equation of the line AB. B, C and A, C. We need to find out the equation of the line A, B, B, C and A, C. For that, we will use these two formulas. The slope of the line joining the point x1, y1 and x2, y2. The slope of the line joining the points x1, y1 and x2, y2. That is m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And the equation of the line is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. We will use these two. First, I am going to find out the equation of line AB. Equation of line AB. So, here the coordinate of A is minus 1 comma 0 and the coordinate of B is 1 comma 3. So, m is equal to y2 minus y1. Just take the coordinate of a as x1 comma y1 and coordinate of b as x2 comma y2. Then m is equal to 3 minus 0 divided by 1 minus minus 1. That is equal to 3 by 2. So, the slope of the line ab is 3 by 2. Now, the equation is y minus x1 comma y1 is minus 1 comma 0 so y1 is 0 y minus 0 is equal to m into 3 by 2 into x minus x1 x minus minus 1 okay x minus minus 1 that is become x plus 1 and we will get it as y is equal to 3 by 2 x plus 1 y is equal to 3 by 2 x plus 1 that means the equation of the line a b that is 3 by 2 x plus 1. Okay, 3 by 2 x plus 1. Now, we will find out the equation of the line BC. Equation of the line BC. The coordinate of B that is 1 comma 3 and the coordinate of C that is 3 comma 2. So, M is equal to y2 minus y1 3 y2 minus y1, 2 minus 3 divided by x2 minus x1, 3 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 2. An equation is y minus 3 is equal to m into minus 1 by 2 into x minus 1. That is equal to y is equal to minus 1 by 2, just open this bracket, minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 3. Minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 3. And this is equal to minus 1 by 2 x. X is there. Minus 1 by 2 x plus 1 by 2 plus 3 is 7 by 2. So, the equation of the line BC that is equal to minus 1 by 2 x minus 1 by 2 x plus 7 by 2. The equation of the line BC that is minus 1 by 2 x plus 7 by 2. Now the last line that is AC. Equation of the line AC. The coordinate of A minus 1 comma 0 and the coordinate of C 3 comma 2. Uh, M is equal to y2 minus y1. 2 minus 0 divided by x2 minus x1, 3 plus 1. That is equal to 2 by 4 is equal to 1 by 2. Equation y minus 0 is equal to m into x minus minus 1. That is become x plus 1. So, this is y is equal to 1 by 2 x plus 1. 
y is equal to 1 by 2 x plus 1. That is the equation of the line AC 1 by 2 x plus 1. Okay. Now we got the equation of AB, BC and AC. We are going to find out the area of the triangle ABC by using integration. So actually that area is area under the line AB. Area under the line AB means this full area will come. Okay, till this portion is also included. Okay, this, this portion, this is also included if you are considering area under the line AB. Plus, area under the line BC. BC means this portion is also included. If you are considering area under the line BC, then this dotted shaded portion is also included. Now, actually, if we took area under the line AB and area under the line BC, this dotted shader portion is extra that we don't want to consider. Now, we need to exclude this dotted shader portion. What is that actually? That is area under the line AC. So, the area of the triangle ABC, that is area under the line AB. <coughs> area under the line AB plus area under the line BC minus if you took area under the line AB and area under the line BC then the dotted portion is also will include but we don't want to include that portion so we need to exclude it that is actually the area under the line AC area under the line AC so area under the line AB plus area under the line BC minus area under the line AC okay now Area under the line AB that we can write it as just look at the line AB here the x varies from at A the x coordinate is minus 1 and at B the x coordinate is 1 so the integral is the minus 1 to 1 because the x coordinate of A is minus 1 and the x coordinate of B is 1 and the equation is 3 by 2 x plus 1 3 by 2 x plus 1 dx plus area under the line bc x coordinate of b that is 1 and the x coordinate of c that is 3 and the equation is minus 1 by 2 x plus 7 by 2 dx minus integral ac x coordinate at a is minus 1 x coordinate at c is 3 and the equation is 1 by 2 x plus 1 1 by 2 into x plus 1 dx. 1 by 2 into x plus 1 dx. Now we need to integrate it. Here in the first integral 3 by 2 is constant. Just take it outside. And the integral of x is x square by 2 plus integral of 1 is x from minus 1 to 1 plus the second one is minus 1 by 2 into the integral of x is x square by 2 plus 7 by 2 x from 1 to 3 minus 1 by 2 is constant. Take it outside. x square by 2 plus x from minus 1 to 3. We need to apply lower limit and upper limit in that three cases. So, what is area of a circle, area of a triangle? Here we are taking area under the line AB plus area under the line BC and then that dotted portion is also included but that is not the part of our triangle. So, we need to exclude it. That is actually the area under the line AC. Now, just apply the upper limit and lower limit. And that you will get it as after simplification, we will get it as 4 square units. 4 square units. That is the area of triangle A, B, C. Now, fifth question. Using integration, find the area of the triangular region whose sides have the equations whose sides have the equations y is equal to 2x plus 1 comma y is equal to 3x plus 1 and x is equal to 4 y is equal to 2x plus 1 
comma y is equal to 3x plus 1 and x is equal to 4. So the difference between this question and the last question, in the last question the coordinates of the triangle is given and we need to find out the equation of the sides. But in this question directly the equation of the sides is given, we need to find out the coordinates. Okay, so we need to draw the line y is equal to 2x plus 1, the table x, y, if x is equal to 0, if x is equal to 0, we will get y is equal to 1. Since we have x is equal to 4 in as a side, I am going to take x is equal to 4 and you will get y is equal to 9. 4 into 2, 8, 8 plus 1, 9. And for the second one, x, y, if x is equal to 0, you will get y is equal to 1. If x is equal to 0, you will get y is equal to 1. If x is equal to 4, 4 into 3, 12, 12 plus 1, 13. Okay. And x is equal to 4 is a line which is parallel to y axis and passes through the point 4. Now just look at the figure. This is the figure. 0, 1 and 4, 13, 4, 9. Okay. 3 points. Plot Just plot these two points and join it. You will get the line y is equal to 2x plus 1. And just plot these two points and join it. You will get y is equal to 3x plus 1. And x is equal to 4 is a line which passes through the point 4 and parallel to y axis. So we got one triangle there. And look at this triangle ABC. One side is y is equal to 3x plus 1. The next side is y is equal to 2x plus 1. And this is x is equal to 4. So we need to find out the area of that area of that triangle okay and here the area of that triangle that we will get it as area is equal to area is equal to area under the line a b area under the line a b area under the line a b means the full area yeah, this dotted portion is also included but then we need to get that straight line shaded portion so what we want to do area under the line a b minus area under the line minus area under the line a c area under the line a b minus area under the line a c okay that is in a b a x coordinate is 0 and b x coordinate is 4 so integral 0 to 4 and the equation of the line a b is 3x plus 1 dx minus integral a c a x coordinate is 0 and c x coordinate is 4 so integral 0 to 4 the equation is 2x plus 1 and we need to integrate it that is 3x square by 2 plus x from 0 to 4 minus 2x square by 2 plus x from 0 to 4. Substitute upper limit and lower limit and we will get it as 8 square units. Okay, here we got the coordinates of A, B, C directly because we took this particular point. Okay, otherwise we will not get Okay, then if you want to find out the coordinates of A, coordinates of B and coordinate of C, what do you want to do? Suppose this is not the, not your table, then you will not get the coordinates of A, B, C directly. Okay, here I took some particular points, that's why I got the coordinates of A, B, C. But suppose it is not your table, then you will not get the intersection points. Okay. So, intersection points, if you want to find out the intersection points or if you want to find out the coordinate of A. Okay. Coordinate of A we need to find. What is that coordinate of A? That is actually the intersection of the line y equal to 3x plus 1 and y is equal to 2x plus 1. y is equal to 3x plus 1 and y is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay. Now, just equate this 3x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 1 and we will get x is equal to 0. We will get x is equal to 0 and put x is equal to 0 in equation uh, the first one or the second one and we will get y is equal to 1.
So we got the coordinate of A. Okay, this is in the case if your table is not thus. You are taking some other values for X, then you will get some other values for Y. And we will plot that points and join it. You will get anyway, you will get one triangle. And in that triangle, we need to find out the coordinates. This is the way to find out the coordinates of that points. So B. B is the intersection of the line y is equal to 3x plus 1 and x is equal to 4. y is equal to 3x plus 1 and x is equal to 4. Just uh, the x coordinate is also already given. Now y is equal to 3x plus means um, from this we will get y is equal to 30. And thus c is the intersection of the line y is equal to 2x plus 1 and x is equal to 4. So just put x is equal to 4 here, you will get y is equal to 9. Okay, this is the way to find out the intersection point if you are not taking the values of x as 0 and 4 uh, to draw the lines.